Now, as Cybos 2022 draws to a close, we're inevitably looking forward to next year when Cybos will be held in Toronto, Canada. And to explore the city in more detail, we're joined by Scott Beck, CEO of Destination Toronto. Scott, welcome to Amsterdam. Welcome to Cybos TV. Uh, now, Cybos was last in Toronto in 2017. Yep. What's changed since then, Scott, and what are we going to see next September? How long is this program? So uh, we've uh, got a few okay, hours. Okay, we've okay, got so, a few minutes. So I think a couple of big big things. We're now the fourth largest city in North America. So that's a that's a pretty new since 2017. So our population is really growing. Um, the other thing I think is really um, a sort of a, a real big statement about that is we are now officially the world's most diverse city. Wow. So 53 percent of the residents of Toronto were born outside of Canada. Not outside of Toronto, we're born outside of Canada. And so it, what it's just created this incredible culture of inclusivity that is that is that was part of the 2017 experience, but is now so much bigger and so much more important for us. You also see a city that's being invested in at a very, very high level. 30% um, of the cranes in North America are in Toronto, Canada. So we are a growing city being invested in. Um, but I think more than anything, you, what you'll see is what, you, what they experienced in 2017, which is a community that loves visitors and welcomes people very genuinely. Okay, well, that sounds really cool. But look, this year, yeah. sustainability has been a massive theme. Everybody's taken it on board. So how are you going to reproduce that message in Toronto and perhaps take it a lot further? Because you've ticked one of the boxes yeah. with diversity. There are a few more to tick. So... I'm, tr I'm trying to foment rivalry between Amsterdam and Toronto here. It's good because we are, we are not only rivals, but we're also very sort of, um, we work a lot together. Yeah, friendly Amsterdam. rivals. We're very friendly rivals. Um, and so we're learning a lot right here, right now. So we have our in, um, sustainability venue managers here, and she's meeting with the team here to understand how we take that forward. I think one of the things we've realized, and I, th I think this speaks globally, we really became aware of our impact on the planet during the pandemic. There was a real opportunity to step back and say, it was really visible. And a city like Toronto has had an ethos of sustainability for, for, for a long time. It's not nothing new to us, but what's happened is some real strong development. So you'll see things like an incredible bike share program, increased bike lanes, a public transportation system. You can get from an international airport to the convention center, one ride on the up train, and it is seamless and it's wonderful. And there's a lot of that type of infrastructure that's been, that's been committed to by, by the city. Um, you'll see a lot of investment in green space. So again, one of the things we learned from the pandemic is the importance of being outside. And that's a real sense of renewal, not in the traditional sense of sustainability, but you know, personal emotional sustainability. Um, and then in the center, I think you'll see a lot of what Amsterdam is known for and what this convention center is known for is a commitment to things like diversion rates. So we have a real strong program to keep stuff out of the garbage pile. <laughs> so how you manage that trash, it's not very sexy, but it's really important how you manage that trash. And then things like reducing single use plastics, those, those things that are kind of becoming table stakes. And like, finally, it's really important that those things happen. Um, but then I'll, I think you'll also see a, a real strong commitment to what the role is of an urban city, a real dense city. So you'll, you probably won't see this as, as the average attendee, but a commitment to how we treat the buildings that we work in and the buildings that are so much a part of the infrastructure that we work on. So a smart city. It's a, a, yeah, a, a smart city that's using technology to innovate, to have a less of an impact on our planet. Um, and you'll see this in all aspects of our um, hospitality community. Accor Hotels um, is world renowned for their commitment to sustainability. And we have a real strong presence of Accor. But then also you just see it at, I think, You'll see what you see here. You see recycling containers, sorting. Um, the stuff that I think is, is really where the impact lies is at that, really that ground level. Um, and those are really important to our community. But let's talk about the significance of SWIFT choosing them as the next host city. What does it mean to Toronto? It's a huge validation. First off, um, we've been a city host city twice before. Mm. So hopefully that says they had a good time and it went well. I mean, hopefully you're not going to come back the third time if it's been bad, right? So hopefully it's a validation that it worked the last two times. Um, but, you know, we think, we think, we know as a community that has business events at the core of our visitor economy, we know that this is a validation of our fintech community. Mm. We know this is a validation of our hospitality community. Um, 
and and it's just one of those things where it's always good to have somebody else say, yeah, we want to we want to be with you. Um, and it's really important on the world stage to have those things with a brand like Cybos. I mean, this is a world renowned brand in terms of a trade show. And that's just really important to a community like ours. Mm. And also as well, the other well, it's really the location itself. And this is the Metro Toronto Convention Center. Now, tell us about this building and also the area that surrounds it, because again, this is really putting it out there for the world to see. This is what I'll, I'll make a little jab at Amsterdam. Um, our center is in the core of our city. <laughs> you are in the heart of our financial district. You know, you for a second, I thought you were going to say our center is better than yours. <laughs> <laughs> that game. <laughs> we're really lucky that our center is in the heart of downtown. So you're in the heart of our culinary community. You're in the heart of our art and culture center. So it's a very walkable convention district. And that's one of the things we really pride ourselves on and sell a lot is that it's just outside the door of the convention center or your hotel is Toronto. Um, and I think that's one of the biggest selling points. But it's also a building that's got a lot of diversity in the way the space uses, the way we use the space. So you, I think you'll find it um, very different than, than where we are here in Amsterdam, but also equally as impactful in terms of the way you can access content. But we think some of the best content that Toronto offers is this community. And so you're right there in the heart of the community. Of course, given Amsterdam they're due, if you, if you jump in a car for five, five or ten minutes, it's a beautiful city with many Absolutely. wonderful places to visit. But let's talk about Toronto <laughs> overall. Uh, tell us a little bit about the city and what people can expect when they're experiencing the place, not just from Cybus, but outside as well. So first and foremost, you see yourself in the community. Because of the diversity of our community, you feel welcome because you can see what you're passionate about, whether that's the food of our community, whether that's the art and culture, or just being outside. You'll feel very comfortable and you'll feel welcome. That's important. We are also Canada's first Michelin city. So the Michelin Guide was launched. We're the f oh. newest city in the Michelin Guide. We're the first guide in Canada. Scott Beck, CEO of Destination Toronto, thank you so much for joining us and good luck with Cybos 2023. Thank you. My pleasure. <laughs>